Hey you guys, welcome to the Sugar Free Self Care Kitchen. Today, my boyfriend, Michael and I, he is our guest star. We're gonna prepare this big old piece of meat. So, I'm gonna show you a simple crock pot recipe that we use every single day, not joking. We do this like every day. And so easy, it'll make cooking meat seem like a breeze to you guys. So, get ready to cook some pork shoulder. Okay you guys, so what kind of meat do we buy? This one is the boneless, which is key you guys, boneless, <laughs> which is awesome. Boneless pork shoulder butt. And so Michael was trying to explain to me that it's just from the shoulder, so if you understand why that word butt is there, please explain. I, I don't understand. Yeah, we don't understand, we don't get this part. Anyway, this is from Costco and it's super affordable. It's only $1.99 per pound, you guys. So this is such a great deal. 16 pounds, this is gonna last like easily a week for two people, only 32 bucks. So we like to get this big piece of meat. The only reason why it's more cheap is that you have to cut through it, which we'll show you. That is why we have this. <laughs> if you have a different knife, that's totally cool, but this is just what we have. And then our super fancy crock pot. This is our crock pot right here. I told Michael it looks like it's from the 1970s, but he showed me one that's from the 1970s. And so this one actually looks pretty hip. All right, Michael, what do we do first? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we have to open it first, of course. So we've got it on a tray here so that we can catch all the juices that are gonna come out. Mmm, uh, juice. Usually two roasts in one package, so yeah, we're gonna take them out right now. All right, let's do it. Do you have a specific technique to? <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, use the. You can use the knife. You can use a pair of scissors, but. Oop. <laughs> Does this happen? <laughs> this is, no. Actually, this that's the all... first time that's happened. <laughs> so the tray has failed. <laughs> This is getting a little graphic, you guys. This is rated R. Sorry to all the kids watching this. Alright. So we got a little spillage. That's okay. Whoa! Look at that meat. Look at that. <laughs> so we're just gonna prepare one of these today. Okay. So one's about eight pounds or so? Should be. Oh, look at those juices. All right, you guys, spillage is cleaned. Now, <laughs> what's next, Chef Michael? Uh, so we're just gonna bring it over here and dry it off a little bit. Oh my gosh, so huge. This is real life cooking. <laughs> That's right. So if you have a big enough crock pot, you can actually just fit the whole thing in your crock pot. Um, if you can do that, you can just season this with salt and pepper and just put it in and you're, you're good to go. The Some whole people, thing? The whole <laughs> thing, yeah. If you have a big enough crock pot. Um, ours is a little bit small, so we're going to have to cut it up a little bit. It usually opens up, because this is boneless, this is where the bone would usually be. Oh. So I'm just going to cut through here, that's gonna be the thinnest spot. And we'll have a couple of pieces that should fit in the pot. All right, so you open it up and you just cut along the fiber. What do you call that thing? The grain, the fiber? I don't, I don't know the official The striation, term. the muscle sure. fiber. Is that easy to cut? It feels pretty easy. This one's pretty easy. Uh, it's easier with a serrated blade. But yeah, if you let the uh, the weight of the pork kind of help. See how I'm holding oh. it like this? That actually helps to uh, make it easier to cut. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. Okay, let's see if, Ooh, let's see if moment this is of truth. gonna fit. Oh, jeez. No, it's too big. Still? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, it could fit. No. Like, only this piece could fit. Do you want to try putting the lid on it? Let's try to the trial and error. 
What are we seasoning it with, Chef Michael? Uh, you know, we're super fancy around here, so we're gonna go with um, the finest coarse ground black pepper from Kirkland. The finest of the finest. Costco pepper. And uh, some Himalayan sea salt. Oh yes, Himalayan. That's, that's super fancy. So, um, yep, those are our spices of choice. All right, Chef Michael, we got the meat back on here. What's your super fancy technique to season? So after I finished uh, cutting the meat, I just washed my hands. So I'm just gonna use my left hand to handle the meat and my right hand to handle the spices so we're not getting pork juice all over everything. Sprinkle it on, pretty liberal with the salt. That's my motto, be liberal with salt. Nobody ever follows it though, like that advice. I know, such a shame. Such a shame. Michael doesn't mess around, he's like the salt, um, the salt king. Sure. Salt. <laughs> the salt he, king. he eats, drinks, breathes salt. <laughs> That's right. It's very nicely coated. And so now the pepper. Super fancy. This is ground black pepper from the from the uh, the Kirkland Islands. You can kind of, after you sprinkle the spices on, you can rub them in a little bit. Yum! So you get all Just sides. Sure get, yep, all around. Inside out. Every edge, every nook and cranny. <laughs> I think that's it. Ooh, yum. Looks beautiful. Okay, now the most exciting part. What do we do? We are going to put it in the pot. Mm-hmm. Our super fancy crock pot. For pork shoulder, you actually don't need to add any liquid to the pot. You just put the lid on and start it cooking. This is why I love this meat. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put the lid on and then we will put it in there. All right, and now for the best, best part. We're going to just pick this up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so challenging. Bring this over here. Oh my gosh, oh, I just felt that, how challenging that was. It was, it, it was extremely challenging, but I've been working out, you know, I think I'm up to the task. <laughs> oh, don't forget to plug it in, oh man, plug okay. Plug it in, turn it on low, mm -hmm. and we're gonna cook that for about nine hours, and come back to it in the morning. Oh, so that's about it. That's it. Make our course. We're gonna have a different video of how we.